Nothing like cutting up brand new parts. mount it all the way over and see where this is gonna go sure enough we're getting a new tube made and then uh, weld it back on um, I'll probably won't do that for a while I'm gonna concentrate on getting a bracket to mount the fan to this and get this mounted uh, where it needs to be Grills off, radiator's back in the car. It does fit, it was super close. I got the uh, outspat cut off. <clears throat> you can see down here, the clearance I've got. So, with the cut and just a slightly different angle, it fits. <clears throat> but I'm gonna have to take maybe uh, 10 millimeters off of this just to get it to line up well. So I'd like to have it sitting just like that. Um, you can see that it's just this cover on top of the frame rail that's making it so this rad won't fit. So shouldn't be a big deal. Um, right now the radiator is bolted in uh, with two of the fasteners that it uses. On the other side it has uh, the holes don't line up so I'll just have to slot those holes. The nice thing is these holes are already slotted so I'll just do the same slots on the other side. Um, it, the radiator is right now exactly where I want. Alright so the next step is to figure out some brackets and fit the fan. So Rad's going to come out. Um, I'm just going to do some cardboard templating draw on the rad cover um, to make sure I capture exactly where it is because I like where it is right now. So I think I know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to make a couple of side adapter plates off of the panel that holds the radiator. Um, so instead of using the, uh, the quick clips, I think I'm going to make a panel that is threaded so I can bolt the radiator to that and then it'll have some wings on it to come out and hold the fan. Um, you can just zip tie the fan to the radiator. I've done that on other projects. It works great. Um, I'm just looking for something a little bit more refined on this build. So. I'm going to overcomplicate it and waste some time. So, it'll be a bunch of measuring, um, come up with a better pattern for this. Okay, so on location uh, at my mom's garage, gonna do uh, some welding. Uh, so kind of fun. I busted out my brother's old welder, and uh, I just gotta trim this outlet down so that it'll be short enough to fit onto the rad. And I'm gonna TIG that up. So first things first, trimming.
Looks good. Just uh, clean that up a bit and be ready to go on to the red. Okay, so it's been a solid four or five years since I've done any kind of significant welding. Um, at the very least today I'm going to try to get this stuck together so I can see if uh, it fits in the car real nice. Um, yeah, so we'll see. I'm going to get this from standing position, which is not the best idea. So my uh, cardboard protection is <laughs> maybe not the best play at the moment, considering I'm heating it to molten magnus. We'll take this off for now. So I'll get myself a fire. But I think it'll hold water and I think it'll fit. Back in my garage now, I have been able to get the radiator to fit. It took some work. Um, the change that I did on the outspout um, still didn't do everything I needed to do. So. I've ended up having to grind this back here because this little piece here, just the, because it's a square connection, was hitting the cradle of the car. So on top of moving this in, um, I've had to grind that off. So I mean, it would be best to have a radius there, but it's be a really tight radius. So what I'm gonna do is get this so that it fits, which it does now, and then I'll grind it back a little bit further. And uh, from there, I'll just put a little patch in it so it fits without, hitting the cradle because it was fouled up hard against that. Um, earlier I alluded to an existential crisis and that was in mounting the fan to the car. Um, when you buy your fan, they usually come with a bunch of little plastic clips um, and some zip ties uh, and you can zip tie your fan right under the radiator and that's okay but I wanted to do something a little bit special um, so busted out some cardboard and some some templates and I went up doing some um, some different ideas here to get this mounted up so the idea was to make a clip that not only held the rad in place, but also held the fan onto the rad in one nice, one nice bracket. Uh, kind of go for a factory look. So the original thought was just to bend up some sheet metal, plasma cut it out, bend it out. Um, but I didn't think it was going to look all that great. Um, and I've had some ideas to do some 3D printing, um, some professional grade 3D printing. So you can see here I sketched it up, um, which ended up turning into These brackets here, which uh, look pretty cool. I got honeycomb there because honeycomb always looks cool. And then test fit it with these cardboard templates. And then we ended up going full out and making the prints. So I ended up with these parts here, which turned out, in my opinion, great. So this is multi-jet fusion um, print. Uh, basically it's a spray. Each layer is sprayed on there. I don't know too much about it, but I know that the result is amazing. It's a it's a 100% fill. Um, looks really great. The texture is amazing. I'll do some close-ups of that. Um, and it's nylon. Uh, should be good up to the temperatures I need for the radiator. So, I mean, worst case scenario, it doesn't work and um, we just keep modifying it. So, what happens now? So the fan is going to mount like that, 
And basically this is a, the Mishi Meat Moto off the shelf part and this is where the clips fit in on these that come with it Oop, like that and uh, what we've done now is made a piece that fits right into that Mishimoto slot and holds it up. So the end result is pretty nice. I get something like that holding it onto the car. Okay, so I've got the fan and right now it's configured for a, a pull draft. Um, you can't just reverse the current. You want to uh, flip the blade around for a pusher config so that the blades are operating efficiently. So it's just a matter of popping this nut off, flipping around. Looks like eight millimeters. It's going to do the trick. Yep. Easy does it. And there it's all set for push config. Easy like that. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do concerns my add-on parts. So they are just now slotted in. The idea was that they would just hold with the clamping force that's holding the rad in place and the fan would float there. But it's it was a little, it was a little wiggly and there's a little bit of flex in these even in the, the front fascia of the car. So I'm going to pin them with a 3 3 second spring clip. So that just means drilling some holes um, to make sure they come in and tapping them in. Um, so pretty straightforward, but it'll make it, the whole assembly nice and rigid. There we go. That is pretty strong. I'm digging that. So pull the rad back up and show you how it all goes together. Do, do, do. So again, the idea is here. This is going to sit up um, against the front wall of the car. So that'll be there and the sandwich is around it. And then I got some fancy little hardware bits, um, just a countersunk screw holder and some decent hardware to hold that up. So it looks uh, fairly factory. And the idea is it's going to clamp all together. Like so. And there we go. Yeah, let's get that in the car. Everything looks good. So now, just using the hardware to fasten it up. There's one of these holes that becomes quite blind. It's pretty hard to get the fastener on. So I'm gonna hang the top um, and then work on that bottom one. It might take me a few minutes and then everything should be in place. Yep. All right. That looks amazing. So that's the first time I've had it all together, finger tight, uh, with the pins in. It is nice and stable. Um, 
I'm thrilled with that. I think uh, it was worth the effort to do the 3D printed brackets and I think it's going to set the tone for some other stuff on my build. I can do a lot of the Delorto fitment of the horn air horns and the throttle linkages. Instead of spending hours machining parts, I can just send them away, get them mailed to me, and off I go. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty slick. Um, see if I can get a battery out here and make the fan go.